Now before we show you anything else on a shaper, I'd like to show you how to check your spindle to make sure that it's perpendicular to the table. It's probably one of the first things you should do with your shaper. Uh, so what we've done is remove the legs from the indicator support bar and install the shaper spindle adapter. Simply drop it over the arbor, lift the spacer it up, snug it in place, and then bring down your arbor until your indicator contacts the table. Now simply rotate it around to check the spindle, make sure it's perpendicular. If it's not, take the time to square it up. It's a one-time deal and it'll make your cutters work, perform much better. When you're using a shaper, one of the obvious uses for the unit gauge is to set the cutter, cutter height and the fence adjustment. So the first thing I'm going to do is set this on here, put the feet right up against the fences and measure right from my cutter to set my fence. Let's say in this case I'm going to set this for an inch and a half, so an inch and a half reveal. I had my cutter or my unit gauge set at the one to two inch, or two inch measurement spot. Now to set the cutter height, I'm less than that, so I'm under an inch. I'm just going to move my legs up to the one inch position, zero to one, lock it in place, bring it directly onto my cutter, raise it up to the position I need, and I'll be set and ready to go. Now if you don't know the exact dimension that you have to set that at, the important thing to remember is once your shaper is set up, before you remove that cutter, simply check it. Jot those measurements down, next time you put it back in it won't take but a minute to adjust that, that height and the fence. Another thing you'll want to do with the shaper at times is offset your fences. With the unit gauge we'll cantilever it over and simply read from one fence to the other to set our adjustment. In this case, I want to set my in-feed fence in. If I were taking a full cut, say I take a 16th off, it's set, and away I go. The other thing I might do is if I had a cutter now, I'd want to set it flush with the out-feed fence. I'd run the, the unit gauge against the other side and set that flush with the cutter itself. With the cutter removed, simply take and turn the indicator sideways or horizontally. You can bring it up against the arbor and check the run out of your arbor. So with the shaper, not only for that initial setup, but for repeat setups, uh, very quickly put the cutters back in, set your cutter height, set your fence, uh, without any test beds you're ready to go into production.